logical way of doing things. Hey, plane, get back here. No, get back. No, plane. All right, there they go. First squad to go down. There's actually two squads. They're going to be going towards, it seems, Milta Power Large Power Plant and the smaller one as well. Plenty of squads dropping. As you can see here, a lot of them. A lot of them going. Oh, look, uh, we got a we got a late drop towards Lepovka, I, I suppose. They will be going towards this location, if I'm not mistaken. Let's have a look, Sipu. Yes, indeed, we have Daedalus' team heading towards that one. In the meantime, though, it seems to be quite a decent spread. Nobody going for the military base, it seems. That is an interesting choice. And it's a weird one, nonetheless, because I'm pretty sure that they've seen each other. And the fact that they haven't seen each other go towards the south side, uh, I, I would have expected it. at least one of these teams to be making it towards that area there. There's going to be quite a lot of activity. Towards school, as you can see here, ladies and gents. Um, take my money, Doc. <laughs> Jeez, I hope you haven't donated again, dude. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Let's see. Uh, I'm going to be checking my emails now. Don't go crazy. Don't go crazy, please. Or do if you can afford it. I mean, if you can afford it, then definitely go crazy. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Let's see. Uh, we have... Oh, thank you very much. Yes, we do have some donations. Thank you so much, Doc Miller. Uh, I'm going to be checking the message onto that one. There is another donation that we're going to be checking pretty, pretty soon. The donations right now are disabled as we do have a competitive game underway. So I would much rather uh, show you guys uh, the game instead of making it less professional, I suppose. There's going to be highlights and you guys would definitely want to see, um, you know, a nicer... A nicer look on the game. If there's a highlight, you wouldn't want to see like a donation coming in there. You know what I mean? If you want to be like, oh, this is me. This is my character there. I'm doing great. All right, let's have a look at the circle there. Looks like it's going to be a center one indeed. We still have late droppers going towards Asnaya. They dropped as soon as they came out of the plane. They will be making it there, but Sweetan will be making it there earlier. I believe that they are in the same squad. Oh, no. Oh, that's a bummer. No, that car is going to flip around nicely. There we go. Get back into it, boys. Get back into it. Don't you worry about a thing. They were a bit uh, disconcerted, I believe. Yes, uh, indeed. They were from the same squad. Late droppers. Going to be going towards Yasnaya, and they're going to be very happy with that. Nobody challenging Yasnaya so far. Maybe Krokrop and his team might go there, but in the meantime, it looks like uh, it's going to be uh, nice and easy. I only follow because of the beard. Thank you, Franco Franco. Much appreciated, dude. Much appreciated. Let's see. Tippy streams. I'm going to have to really have a look at the at the donations now as we do have a minute to work with here. Uh, a lot of people going towards Rassock. Unexpected, uh, unexpected amount of people going towards Rassock. I'm pretty sure that there are going to be two teams noticing each other quite soon. One team heading uh, on the south side of Rassock. One team taking the north side. Uh, it does seem like this might be quite a battle here. Let's see where we are. Oh, nope. Page up, page down didn't work. Never mind, guys. We were uh, towards the north of Primorsk. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Squad's not fighting just yet. There is quite a, uh, of decent activity towards the prison area. There's more activity, though. For Rossak, a place where you wouldn't really expect so much activity early in the game. Pachinki only uh, hosts one squad. So the guys in Pachinki are going to be very, very happy. I don't, I don't know if you noticed this, but... Uh, it does seem that um, recently a lot of teams are avoiding Pachinki in competitive and in in my own personal gameplay uh, in FPP or either either way, even in solo or squads. It looks like teams don't really want to go towards Pachinki. I'm not too sure why. There's a drop in here. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Now we have a notifications notification system. Let's go there and see how this drop will be coming in. Oh, there you go. There she is. Very beautiful. I wonder if we can actually peek in and uh, actually look at look and see what is inside the drop. Wouldn't that be fantastic? All right, let's see. No, wait, 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 wait. Maybe we can do it. What do you think? Nope, it's empty. Oh. All right, show hide care package item. I'm not gonna be. Uh, I'm not gonna be hiding it. Why would I hide that care package item? Perhaps. Okay, let's see if there's going to be some fights. I'm pretty sure that Rossock is going to be uh, hosting some fights pretty, pretty soon, my boys. Um, did stream crash or was delayed? Me? No, it's a, it's a five minute delay. Um, it's a five minute delay at the moment in time. Uh, the beard is not visible in the game. I'm so sorry, my boys. I'm so sorry. Uh, I know it's not. <laughs> it's not what you would have wanted to see, 
but it is what's going on at the minute in time. Let's see. Still a lot of activity towards the mansion, and this is one squad, but I do believe that Dagger Fallen is making his way with his team. Look at this one. Let's just get to be close, spotting some players in there, taking some shots indeed. Let's see if he's going to be able to capitalize on those shots. Not just that, I haven't seen him zoom in. Maybe perhaps that's uh, my boo-boo. Not too sure, but I, uh, I definitely doubt it at this moment in time. Two squads now in the S9. They're going to be happy with that. Nobody taking military zone. I'm so tilted by that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they would have been very, very happy by taking that one. Uh, no damage done just yet, it seems, by Flix. There is a car approaching from his own squad, so that's perfectly fine. But Daedalus has a car 98 to work with here. So Daedalus could prove to be very deadliest. Hey, 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 see what I did there? Deadless, deadliest. Failing his first shot, but connecting his second one. Beautiful stuff, Car 98. It's got to be hitting the body of uh, Flix. Flix is not going to be taking that much damage because he does have a decent armor on. I do believe that would be a level two. Uh, indeed, that would have stopped so much damage from the Car 98. Flix already on the heel. Deadless' squad will be making their way safely towards Jump House, it seems. That's what I like to call the. Uh, the tiny little house that is... Oh, they're not going towards Jump House. Okay, so they're going to be going directly on Blue Building, close to the shelter. And uh, with that in mind, that fight will be stopped. They're not going to be engaging anytime soon. They're making their way uh, away from one another. But I do believe that this squad will be facing each other soon. Napinator and Bubbles' squad will be facing soon. Let's see how that one's going to be working out. Okay, let's see. Uh, we got the donations in, boys. Uh... All I want to do, lick this beard after two weeks without you again. <laughs> Crazy guy, Doc. Mother. Thank you so much. Much appreciated for that donation. Much appreciated indeed. And Krukin6, thank you very much for your donation. Your voice is golden. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a gift. It's nothing that I've been working on too hard. It just kind of sort of happened. So I want to stay humble about it. Nobody going for the drop, I believe. I believe that I have. We haven't seen anybody go for the drop unless we did see anybody go for it. And uh, in that case, do correct me. Don't be afraid to speak your mind in the chat. By the way, chat is there to uh, to offer your ideas to to use bad language. I don't care if you use good manners but bad language. I'm a happy man. You know what I mean? You can use bad words. Just don't just don't be ill mannered towards other people. Thank you so much. Of course, unless it's banter and you know each other, then that is perfectly fine. Ooh, some action here. It's got to be headway. And the Rossack, I do believe that uh, Bubzel's squad has been spotted. Let's see if they're going to be able to uh, be taken down. Bubzel, let's see which one this is. We don't have a search in this one. Oh, man. Rip GG. Yes, indeed. Spotted. Bubbles and his team are going to be making their way to safety. They're going to be uh, holding on to their angles there. Considering that they've looted half a Ralsock, they should be having decent weapons there. Napinator taking some damage though in the meantime there. Nice shots coming in from his enemies on the south side Sorry, of Ralsock. Uh, he will be dinked down. Not too bad though. He has a level 2 armor, so he's going to be okay with that. Just a level 1 backpack though. Not a lot of space to... Put in those precious M16 shots. Nice bait, though, from Napinator, I must say. Using his UMP first to try and bait shots. And then once their enemy peaks, he can whip out that M16 and just wreck house with it. Yes, there we go. Napinator's going to be spotting Bubzel. Not going to be engaging just yet, it seems here. Sarganto has been taking some damage himself. Somewhere else on the map, there's not a lot of activity going on here. Mr. Coca-Cola is getting a bit dangerous there on top of uh, his building. He's, he won't be spotted just yet, but he's very, very close. Look at this one. The Southside squad is now very close. Mr. Coca-Cola should be hurt at this point in time. Yes, he has been indeed. That Molotov proves just that. No extended mag on him. So he will be uh, careful in his... Oh, look at this one. He doesn't see Dabbles. Are you kidding me? There Dabbles are just around the corner, dude. Coca-Cola, what are you doing? He's not fizzy enough today, man. He's not fizzy enough today. After what he did last time with the... With the uh, swimming through the water like he was a, like, you know, like doggy position. This time it just doesn't seem like he's on par with his spots, but he is on par with his shots. Good shots connecting on to Costum rules one. He's going to be dinked down in one third of HP there. 30 HP remaining for Costum. He will be, uh, oh, damn. Bubs will take some damage from, uh, I believe that was Nappinator. Yes, indeed. Nappinator was the one that engaged Bubzel and, uh, Brought him to 30 HP as well. They're going to be healing up. First aid used by Bubzel. Somewhere else on the map, it does seem to be quite quiet. 
there were some engagements here on uh, the Finnish uh, squad, but we're not going to be looking at that just yet. Instead, we're going to be looking at Napanetti going down by Flasco Crack. Let's see where he actually had the sangle there. A nice bit of a backstab coming in. Flasco, smart ideas. It's working out just fine there. Napanetti's going to be dying down there. Uh, he's not yet to be revived. He's not yet to be revived. It looks like his squad members aren't that close. It's actually Coca-Cola that's close to him on that rooftop. Napanetti doesn't have a lot of chances at this moment in time. There, Another one spotted there is Snogas. Will be dinked down super low there. Flasco does knock him out. Good shots. And that was very smart of him to peek outside of the fence. Because even though he was visible on the four-time scope, it would have hit the side of his own fence there. Fiasco crack. No, knows his game indeed. Uh, Costa is going to be caught between a rock and a higher place here. It's not an easy task for his squad. It does seem that he is left now alone with Dabbles as Napanator and their other teammate died down. That's not going to be too handy for him. Not handy at all. Costin has an SKS to work with here. Let's see if he's uh, spotting anyone at this point in time. Just waiting for the imminent penetration of that house. It will happen. It will have to be cleared there. Costin has a bit of time to use a uh, bandage. That one's going to be... He actually doesn't need to use another one, but okay. Maybe just to speed up the healing process there. Energy drink will bring him to almost 100. 98 of HP is what the energy drink can offer. Past the 75 of the first take kit. You guys know that well enough. All right, let's see how this one's going to be working out. In the meantime, in chat, do let me know. Is it loud enough for you? Or would you rather have it a bit louder uh, for the in-game? I, I I mean, ooh, nice shots from Kostin. But, yes, no, actually, he does do good with it. It's going to be Bubzel taken down. And in the competitive scene, you always see them go for the kill. They do not wait for teammates to go in. They cannot bait like that. It, it doesn't really work out like it does when we play it, you know. Dabble's taking a bit of damage there. He's going to be uh, healing himself up there. It's a 2v3 uh, situation here. Coca, Sarganto, and Flasco are still alive here. But Dabble's and Kossin are in between a rock and a hard place. They have a bit of crossfire set up. So that's not going to be too hard. It's going to be a handy, handy thing indeed. Sarganto's spotted now by Dabble's. Dabble's should take the shot because Sarganto is in the open. But then again, if Dabble's does take the shot, Coca-Cola might just come in from the rooftop and take him down. So Sarganto is baiting like mad, dude. If they know exactly where Dabbles is, this is a very, very smart play that Sarganto is pulling off here. They're just waiting for Dabbles to peek, basically. Actually, Dabbles could fire if he goes to the back of the shed where he is now inside. He could fire through the window. Oh, Costa Rose taking a bit of a damage there. A lot of damage, actually. Extended mag on his SKS, but he won't be uh, having a chance to fire that one instead. Only bandages on him. Look at that. He's got 10 HP and only bandages to use. <sighs> ah. I don't like this. I don't like their chances. At this moment in time, there's going to be Sarganto taking a bit of damage here. TG Dabbles is almost down. He is down now. Indeed, Sarganto's bait worked to perfection. Coca-Cola did what he had to do and uh, peaked in. As soon as Sarganto was taking damage, they knew where Dabbles was. Very, very good play. Now, it's going to be Coca-Cola's taking uh, damage from... Uh, wait, where, where is he? Where? Oh, did they take him down? I believe that's it. Yes, that is it. Dabbles has been taken down and Costa has been taken down as well. Fantastic uh, team effort here from Coca-Cola squad. Great stuff. And they're going to be the kings of Rostock at this moment in time. No challenge whatsoever. But Chinky's going to be getting lit though. Look at this one. Fighting on their way on the double barns of Pachinki. And there's another squad coming in from behind. This is not going to be an easy situation for Arma and his members. <sighs> They've been spotted. They've been spotted indeed. Let's see. Index is not taking shots just yet. They're going to be looting their house first, making sure that it's clear before they engage. Now they've been spotted there in Dexa. No, it's actually Geddes that takes the shots with a hollow sight, though. You can't expect too much, though. In the meantime, they're ooh, caught between the rock and hard place. It's going to be Yumki, the last one dying now from his team. Two members left alive. No, three members. Perkurus is there as well. No, actually, the squad is done for. Orima and Yumki were the last ones. And that's them out of the game. We don't have that many squads left. And uh, the circle is decently big it's it is the uh, the first circle with the second one underway indeed Ponta somewhere else on the map there it does look like they're under fire at this point in time from dny svet is has been uh, taken down it seems like a safe place to revive him no you got to move a bit lower there Ponta. No! wolf able to take the frank indeed Ponta will be peeking out that's a daring move dude 
Oh, you don't want to do that. D N N Y will take him down. Rip GG. Zvet is still alive behind the rock. But I don't think he's going to be alive for too long. You know what I mean? He doesn't seem like his teammate uh, can come in to revive him pretty, pretty soon. Boos is trying to, he's trying something here. Trying to be a bit sneaky beaky about it and uh, see if he can spot that player before he revives Sweat. But Svet needs to be revived about now. There is not a lot of uh, regen left. Or sorry, a lot of uh, knockout life left. Slowly withering away down it seems here. Boos has to make his way to his teammate now. If he wants to be revived, or if he wants any teammate in this game. Look at that! 5 HP on, on, on Svet. And Boos is not going to be going in for the revive instead. It will be just him alone. Rip GG. Alright, let's see what else is going on on the map there. War Zero has been taking some damage there. It looked like they're in a dossier. Yeah, this, I believe, was the Asnaya squad, yes. Going in on the safety of the circle. They're making a lot of noise here. Exodus will be holding on to that angle there. See if they can be, uh, if they can spot the dossier yeah, that's going past them. I like the fact that they're uh, riding the blue at this moment in time. Or riding the, riding the white, rather. However, there is a squad. Les Français sont ici. Very bad, Bunny. Is that over here? I hope these are the Frenchies. Otherwise, it just kind of sounds silly if I speak like that. They will hear the Dacia coming by. Very bad, Bunny takes an offensive angle there. It's got to be hiding behind the uh, fence. And it looks like Nettis' squad will be making it out safely. Ooh, look at this, though. Pretty close there, Munkle from uh, Guillaume's squad. But they're not going to be engaging. Instead, they choose to go away. I do believe they've been hurt. And shots were fired against them. Oh, there we go. Up, up, up. Forget about the map there. Dazia has been spotted there. Nice. Taking some damage. They're not going to be dinked down. Very good team effort there. Four members trying to fire away at the Dacia. But they're not finding the shots just yet. Very bad bunny. Well, they're not very uh, happy bunnies. Indeed, at this point in time. Because they haven't gotten their kills. Wait, if bunny wins, does that make him... What does that make him? Because, like, it's a chicken dinner. So do bunnies eat chicken confirmed? Holy shit. Nice. <laughs> dank moments here, indeed. Dank moments. As the next circle seems to be quite a rough one. A lot of the teams are going to be coming in here. These three teams that you can see here will be facing each other so, uh, off very, very soon from now. Let's see how it's going to be working out here. Um, professional in-game cameraman. Thank you, Doka. <laughs> Much appreciated. Is Andy dead? Uh, to be honest, um, Andy's in the, in the first tier. I wanted to cast Andy, but the thing is, uh, Mr. False has the tier one. If I would have said it a bit earlier, I believe that would have been a good thing. But at this moment in time, it is just not possible. Oof, Barry. Where's Barry going? He's alone here. You don't want to be doing that, mate. The compound closest to him has some uh, enemies ready to shoot. And shoot they will indeed. Finally taking some shots there. Perry's trying to bait. It's very difficult to hit anybody on the motorcycle, of course, because this is the fastest vehicle available in the game. Ooh, Perry, check this one out. Two members so close to him. He's got to be sprayed down with a UMP. Not working out perfectly now. He's finally taking some damage there, but it is UMP damage. Perry trying to stay alive and uh, will be gathering up with his teammate though it seems uh, i believe that's index and another one there's three members left live from this squad index and get us are indeed alive oh there we go nose dive perry's all right don't worry about it <laughs> happy days let's see how this one's going to be working out though because i do believe that mr Munkle's squad does not have a vehicle however there should be some cars i believe around that area there oh there's a fight in pachinki let's watch that Coca-Cola and Sarganta, they're finally taking uh, another fight on. Now, Coca-Cola has been dinked. Eh, 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 what are you doing, game? Don't do that to me. Sarganto is still alive, though. He's got to be going in for the revive, it seems here. They're in the ditch. Let's see if they're uh, well able to revive those safely. Risky hit range and Black Bear first are making their way towards their enemies. <sighs> oh, no, 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 Sarganto. Look behind, look behind. Not like this, please. Coca-Cola trying to take a bit of a, a bit of a cover. 
Oh, spot it. Sarganto dink down, and that's the end of them. It's going to be Coca-Cola dying down. Valiant effort by them, but they will be brought down indeed by a risky hit reg. And uh, they will be able to uh, revive their teammate indeed. Dream Machine is going to be revived by Blackbeard first. Valiant effort indeed from Mr. Coca-Cola and his squad. You've seen them do great work in Wild Sock. I loved their really like 200 IQ peak uh, from... Uh, as, as Mr. Coca-Cola was holding one angle there, Dabbles peeked out to take down Sarganta, who was in the open. And uh, oh, there you go. Dabbles just went down. Coca-Cola was on him like, you know, brown butter. Very, very nice. In-game sound can be a notch higher. Gotcha, dude. Gotcha. Let's uh, let's see if, if we can sort that one out for you. All right. That should be a bit better there for you. Let me know if it's, uh, if it's a bit better. If it's not, then we're going to further on uh, change it. Actually, you know what? Even higher. I'm not too sure why it's so low. Oh, I know why it's so low, because my, my my own speakers are low. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> All right. Let's have a look-see-poo. The map is closing in. It does seem like it. Yep. Yep. There we go. Okay. These guys are going to have to heal up, so let's not dwell too much on them. Let's have a look at the map, though. In the meantime, there is a fight happening there. And a Matthew taking damage. There is... Team is almost dead. Twister is almost dead. Oh, the car is almost exploding. Whoo, they're making it on life with the last breath. Don't continue driving. You're going to die. Oh, don't do that. They're going straight into another squad. That other squad should be firing at them pretty, pretty soon. Oh, ho, ho, rip GG. Wolf fight with a couple of shots there. Takes down a whole freaking squad. Rip Twisty, Neox, Edamantium, and their teammate as well. Oh, that was a hard one. Why do they keep uh, going with that one? I believe it's just, you know, the heat of the moment there. Another fight happening, though. Daedalus is facing, indeed, an opponent's squad spotted now. AKM uh, will not be handy enough there. CTTR will be taken down as well, but there is a car 98 in the hands of Daedalus there. He's going to be trying his best to take someone down there. You don't need it. Daedalus doesn't need to do too much. His teammate, te teammates do uh, all it seems that AKM came in very, very handy there. Daedalus has to move in. One well, minute and 18 seconds left. They can loot now for some goodies for some first days. And, uh, yeah. Okay, this fight is over. Seems like it here. Let's see if there's any other fights happening there. Oof, Nazca taking heavy damage. They're on there. Oh, they're on foot, dude. And this circle is not easy on them. They're going to be going on a bit towards the left side, hoping that they find a Dacia on the main road. And also using the cover of trees because there is a squad... To their right, if you can spot it, I'm pretty sure they did. There were people right here. Yes, there were. You can see them on the mini map. You can see them running now on the fields. Let's see. Uh, what else is happening on the map? Booze is the only one left, it seems. And he's by the blue in a hard spot. Booze will get bamboozled, if you know what I mean. I don't like his chances. Somewhere else on the map, though. It's got to be nannies dying down. Does look like it. I cannot scope in on it or zoom in and out. Oh, there you go. All right, Linnies, what happened to you guys here? Oof, they got a lovely, uh, lovely uh, trench to work with here. Sorry, my Englando is avoiding me. This is escaping me. <laughs> Boogie is scary. Oh, yeah, he's, uh, phew, he's such a scary dude. <laughs> Boogie, is the, Boogie is the most easygoing dude, my bro. Don't worry about Boogie. But he's a nice guy. Shots fired, I'm pretty sure, against Bad Bunny. Oh, no. We got to see something happen here first. Oh, uh, never mind. Okay, Bad Bunny. Can we watch Bad Bunny? Please. There we go. We can see him now. UMP in his hands. I don't know why the UMP is the one that's out. I do believe that V-Day is the one holding... That, no, it's actually uh, Asagi holding the SKS. Jean-Michel. Très bon, très bon. Uh, un effort très très fort. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying here, man. I'm not I'm not hired to do English class. I'm not hired at all doing this for free. <laughs> but it's a fun thing to do indeed. Oh, Jean Michel spots another squad. He's gonna be taking shots. SKS will connect one. But that's about it. They're gonna have to move into the circle though. That is a very, very stinky circle. There will be another squad going down. It looks like it. But there's someone else actually covering into Jean-Michel's squad. Coming in very, very close to them. Oh, what a carnage there. Jean-Michel finally takes fire. And their enemy squad is dead. Edible. Grandi. Booze 80 will be taken out. Booze 80 was actually alone. But uh, there you go. 
Another squad being taken down. What a great effort there from Jean-Michel. Well, they kind of had it coming to them, you know what I mean? They had someone coming straight at them here, it seems like. Uh, that worked in their advantage. SKS ripping through their enemies. And there you go. It will be Mike taken down. Ear also taken down. Enemo finally killed. And uh, Nasa and Grandi's squad will be done with. There you go. There's that puppy, puppy style of, of swimming. I don't know what that is, but I want to watch. Indexa, have you never learned how to swim? Look, <laughs> look at him go. Look at him go strafing. Like, this is how to swim if you're a special boy like me. He's, he's doing a man, though. He's pretty fast, though. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think in real life that someone doing this would be pretty fast. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look at the action. Indexa has been uh, eating a lot of damage, it seems here. It's, it's actually the teammate of the guy that's been swimming like that. Indexa now on the shoreline. His teammate's still in the water, went for the drop. They're going to have to go all the way around and try to make their way into the safety of the circle. 30 seconds left to do that, and they can go around here at these parts. In the meantime, though, we do have some squads fighting to get off here, it seems. No, oh, I made a mistake. Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, let me do this then. Daylight will be spotting their enemies soon. They haven't spotted each other because this particular place uh, allows for great cover in a lot of trenches in this uh, in this scenario. You don't have a lot of visibility from the other rocks, and you can also uh, peek out as much as you want for the north part of this island. Ooh, that was an SK shot that missed. It seems here. Indexa will be making it out safe with his teammate. As you can see on the south of the line there on the mini map, lower right hand corner. Dabbles, no, it wasn't your dude, it wasn't your your garbage play. It was the freaking 300 HQ play of uh of Coca-Cola and uh and I don't know what I can't remember the the name of the uh Santorini something. They had such a smart thing. They were baiting you for, to take that shot on that player on the tower. And Coca-Cola had the angle on you. You were between a rock and a hard place, dude. Unless you had a smoke to use, you were in between a rock and a hard place. Woo! Somewhere else. A bit of a fight going on there. It does seem like Mudhorse is taking a bit of damage there in the barns. It will be where the action is underway. Who has a current idea to work with here? And they do spot their enemies. SKS car 98. This is a pretty deadly setup. Right, nobody taking damage just yet here. Mod Horse will be healing up, it seems. Car 98 action there towards the car. They don't know exactly where their enemies are. Prone somewhere behind that was. Actually, let's have a look and see where they are. Oh, oh, where's my cam gone? I cannot use my cam. No, I can. There we go. Let's see where they are. They're right over her. Just behind that was. <sighs> this is a danger moment, dude. This is a danger moment because Flix is going to have to make his way into the safety of the circle. His teammate will have to do the same right over yonder, as you can see him. But I don't know if they have any smokes. They should deploy them now and go. 18 seconds left. They need to make a move. Or Flix needs to uh, get a Frank yesterday. Let's see if that's going to be happening. Shot fired. M4. Not that powerful against the car 98 and SKS. Let's see how that's going to be working out. That's sad. The caster don't look wolf fight. Dude, we're looking at where the action starts, dude. For example, right now, it's going to be only one taken down. Their teammate's not even bothering to rescue him at this point. There's no, no point to do that. You just have to make your way into the safety of the circle. Yeah, only one's going to be dying down indeed. Shots fired in from the Barnes. It will be the last of Vanity. He surely cannot make this one out. 10 HP on him. He's taking a lot of damage there. The circle is killing him, literally. 1 HP. Don't go in the circle. Oh, that was a close one. Oh, and now he gets taken down. It's going to be Hoxix. That will be uh, removing that squad off the mark, off the face of the planet there. <sighs> Unfortunate placement for Geddes as he could not make his way up top two squads left boys and girls for the first game we do have two squads left let's see who's going to be uh winning here it's going to be mon horst and indeed uh oh no it's three squads left actually dream machine is on his zone interesting situation 
He does have a sneaky position. He can wait for the players in the barn. He can wait for uh, these guys to come out. Oh, this is going to be sneaky, Beaky Man. They surely heard him uh, walk outside. Yeah, they must have heard him. And they're going to be beaking him all together at this moment in time, it feels like. Not just yet, though. Not just yet. Pray to Pan. Will they know that there's someone behind them? Squads left in this game, by the way, are Pray the Pan. Nest. And on-site gaming. This is Pray the Pan. This is Nest with Dream Machine. And this is on-site gaming. For V2v2, you would really favor the chances of uh Pray the Pan at this moment in time, unless they've been spotted. Dream Machine playing the blue to perfection there, but he's out of the blue. He needs to make his way inside of it. It's really, really biting hard. Tries to go for it, but he's going to be spotted now. Dying down. It's going to be Snexy taking him down here. Still four players left for this squad. And it will be quite a dangerous play because NPC9, and I'm used to it, they're making their way through the smoke. Proning into the safety of the circle. Now, both of the teams are safe. NPC9 spots one of his enemies there. The second one spotted as well by the rock. What a big barrage of smokes. Now, NPC... He's going to have to play this one carefully there. Used to it. Also knocking one player down. It's going to be... Ooh, NPC knocking another one down. There's finally a chance now for NPC. But he's alone in a 1v2 situation. Let's see how this is going to be spanning out there. And uh, Mike... Won't be revived. That's the moment in time. Another one taken down by NPC. He can do it. Look at this one. It is a litter 1v2 situation. Snexy and Hussix are the only ones left alive. But Hussix takes the shot. He's going to be taking him down. Congratulations indeed to... Let's see who it is. Oh, oh, oh. Pray the band. Woohoo. GG, my dudes. GG, indeed. Let me print this screen real quick and send it over to the boys. They're going to be needing this on Discord. Happy freaking days. Happy freaking days.